It was Halloween. And they had a children's Halloween activity day at the local library. Won't this be fun? They thought, oh, let's show them an old silent horror movie. This will be because silent movies, that's for everybody. They showed us F.W. Murnau's Nosferatu to a bunch of five and six year olds. <laughs> like, I'm going to watch this again just to make sure, like, maybe I'm only seeing it through my five year old brain. That is one of the most terrifying. Just openly disturbing film. It's all it is is disturbing images. And the narrative kind of doesn't make sense. There's yeah. kind of a dream logic to it. It just kind of jumps around. So it has that five year old's logic way of looking at the world where it just all it is is scary stuff coming in. Kids were screaming and crying. And I was freaking out, but I was very, very fascinated by. How come this little square of light mm -hmm. is making everyone – we were just in this room that was well lit. We know we're in safe in the world. They put a couple of towels over the windows, and suddenly we're in hell. Yeah. Like it just completely – I'm like, how did that happen? And that is why I've been fascinated with film ever since because it happened like that. And that movie – go watch Nosferatu. It's fucking scary. It's fucking – by today's standards, that movie is fucked up. Ugh. It's like, what the fuck? And then the the woman has like dies at the end, like she mm -hmm. openly sacrifices herself. Like it's so fucked up. Oh, oh how were the pumpkin cookies? There was a, there's a guy. He came out of the darkness and he's just like sucking people's souls. It was just 